I'm David Langer, and I'm here to talk about water. I'm Eric Watterson, and I'm here to talk to you about water. Water. Dude, are you dehydrated? Mm, why do you ask? The color. Yeah, it's, that's like a chartreuse. More like a radioactive green. Uh, your key should be clear, or at least a, a light yellow. It's just concentrated because I go once a day. Dude, you should be going three to four times a day. Some additional signs of dehydration include thirst. You should drink at least half of your body weight in ounces per day. 80% of headaches are actually caused by dehydration. And of course, fatigue. But wait, there's a lot more to know about water than just the symptoms of dehydration. What many people don't realize is how big of a role water consumption plays in controlling appetite. The human body can sometimes confuse hunger with thirst. The next time you're feeling hungry, drink some water, and you may find that you have a little more control over your appetite. Try some water. It'll help with your constipation and your digestion. Using this state-of-the-art time-lapse photography, we are able to see how drinking water increases metabolism and as a result promotes weight loss. Did you know that losing as little as 5% of your body water can impact your physical performance 20 to 30%? <laughs> If he had known that, our buddy David here might have been able to finish his 100 meter dash. The fact is, most people don't drink enough water. Humans can sweat up to two quarts a day, never mind what is lost going to the bathroom and in water vapor with every breath. Everyone's water needs are different based on body type and level of activity. 
This summer, make sure you reap all the health benefits of being well hydrated. Hey guys, cheers. Jeez, David, you drink a lot of water. Mm. Dave. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs>